Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Bops and Bangers. I am Kelsey. And I'm Ashley. And we're with Girl Music. If you don't know us, you know us now. We are <laughs> super happy to be back. Another week, another Monday of us recording. We are here. We're here. We made it. Barely. Barely. Late. Late. We made it late. We made it late. We got a little <laughs> chit chatty as we do, a little gossipy as we do. We love just chatting with each other. Yeah, it's the three really fun. of us need help we, at this point. There's always something to say. <laughs> yeah. Every five seconds. Every there's five seconds. To say. Every second there's a story with Rachel, <laughs> a drama with me, and anything with Ash. Honestly, <laughs> anything with Ash. Anything Wild goes. card for Ash. <laughs> Ash it, it really does. You anything never goes. know what you're gonna get. No, yeah. we don't. And it's I love every second of it. <laughs> But we're excited. We're here for another week. We've got a lot of cool music to go through with you guys and just some um, housekeeping, just some exciting things that the girl music team is up to in the next couple of months. We wanted to kind of go over, deep dive, do a little, do a little chit chat. Deep dive. I feel like every time we say that, that should just We say deep dive so many times. Fred. Fred again. Fred. (laughs) We haven't mentioned him in a hot second. So we haven't. Deem down. Deem Uh Super excited to get into it. First rule of housekeeping is uh, we have we've we, got merch. We have merch. Look at it. It's super cool. Very comfy. Everyone that has a shirt, which is probably only Sean and ourselves. Yes. <laughs> we'll be making a post soon about it, right? Yes. We already would yeah. have posted about it. Yes. So if you haven't already, hop on our website, go buy our merch. It's really affordable, y'all. Very. It's literally like $25 for this long sleeve. And good ass material. Yeah, it's yeah. really so comfy. worth it. It's a win for everybody. Yeah, and it is. The designs are so, so cute. Yeah. We will be uh, also dropping a new design every quarter. So be on the lookout for our next one. I'm real. That's the one I'm looking most forward to. I'm so excited. It's fucking It's so cool. Incredible. If you love colorful, bright, cool graphics, and you want to support your girls, we would very much appreciate it. It would mean the world to us. Also, while you're here, like, subscribe, share to our YouTube channel. Make sure all your friends know that Bops and Bangers is happening. Yeah, all your friends that, like, need to know about new music. Exactly. We know there's a lot of you out there. Exactly. (laughs) Or if you uh, just like our friendship, and uh, we actually had someone tell us the other day that they were going through a moment of social anxiety and listening to us really helped calm them down and i'd like to think that that's what we're here for i know that was so sweet that was actually a girl's two cents isabel from a girl's two cents podcast and it was the nicest compliment we could have ever ever gotten and check out her podcast honestly she's gonna be on ours in a couple of weeks super she's also on youtube yes and her voice is incredible. She has that NPR voice. Yes. That just, ooh. I'm obsessed. And she's so smart. She she is a type of person that does all the really heavy deep diving, has all the like name retention. She's way more prepped than oh us. Oh my God, way more prepped than us. <laughs> well, you're looking to like say. get educated. Yeah. If you're, <laughs> if you're looking to actually have facts delivered to you <laughs> yeah. uh, instead of whatever comes up in our brain, uh, definitely go check her out. It's an incredible podcast. She is so brilliant how she talks about music. And we had such a cool conversation with her. Um, really, really, really dope person. Make sure you go listen to a girl's two, two sound sense. sense. Girl 3R is just like us. Boop. And we love that. We love the, uh, we were kind of talking, we've been talking about the Riot Girl movement a lot recently on a few podcasts. And someone asked, she asked us actually, um, what we think, you know, Riot Girl music is kind of nowadays. Yeah. And, you know, I've been thinking about this nonstop since then. It's like, I think anyone, any woman, any non-binary person has the power of Riot Girl in them. Like, I yes. could even say Lizzo, yeah. SZA, Definitely. Yes. Rihanna. 100%. Yeah. They're all Riot Girls. Yeah. They're all for feminine power. Yeah, and and like, I love Take down that. the patriarchy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It doesn't have to be this, like, punk rock kind of attitude no. anymore. Yeah. It's very much more, like, an internal feeling of being yes. a Riot Girl. And I am here for that. I love that. I know. And I love that. Thinking of, like, Lizzo as a Riot Girl. Absolutely. Yeah. Speaking of, did you see Lizzo in The Mandalorian? Yes, we talked about that last week. I know, with Jack Black. Yes. It's a good episode. Okay. Oh, oh, you watched it? Oh, I watched the full episode. Oh, I I thought you just Yeah, yeah. Did you hear about it? I don't know what, why. Because I lean in. I know, I know. 
But yes, Lizzo in The Mandalorian is lovely. Wow. Her, Jack Black is like yeah. her partner. I love and it. And it's like the funniest Is he moment. normally in it? No. Oh, so they're just, they're no. together. They're just together. Very healing for, for humanity right Honestly, there. Honestly, yeah. it's, it's the duo I didn't know we needed. Absolutely. But I'm thinking, you know, President first husband kind yep. of vibes. Yeah. Oh yep. Just saying, Lizzo, if you wanted to run, I would vote for you. 100%. Yeah. But we've also been on a few other podcasts. Um, we really want to give a shout out to uh, a local San Diego podcast um, called Who Invited Her. We were just on it this past weekend and it was a fucking blast. It was so fun. It was just wild. It was talk about uh, going on tangents. We yeah. sure did. If you like sidebars, when you we sidebar, go listen to the podcast we were on with them because we didn't we had so much in common with them all of a sudden we were talking about broadway we were talking about russian history like yep. i don't know it was wild it was fun and it's really cool because um they do a lot of work in the lgbtq space they are the nicest human beings ever they're witty they're creative they're super fun very fun like it, honestly yeah. it felt so nice and we went over and hung out with them in person yes. so it just was really such a cool experience yes they're it, gonna be on here I, we're having soon. everyone that we uh, are on their show we want to have them on here so you guys get introduced to them as well because they're just nice people they've they got love good music. taste yeah, yeah i think it's it was a really cool um experience to have someone older than us talk to us about music yes. as well and so yeah. we're usually talking to the gen z Zers. crowd yeah and, and this it, is like a gen x or yeah and it different was different vibes different vibes and i realized we listened to so much new music yes. that they were kind of quizzing us on older music and my brain is like i don't know any old music right now no i i forgot every every artist i've ever liked <laughs> <I know. laughs> every time someone's like so what name a song i'm like <laughs> Bro, there's so many happening yeah. up in my head at any given time. I'm fucked. I'm yeah. so fucked. But it was, again, a really dope experience. They are the nicest people ever. It's just fun being on other people's podcasts, getting to know them, chit-chatting. Yeah. Uh, talking about what we love and, and our experience in the space. And everyone, like I said, has just been so welcoming of yeah. us. Amazing. Oh, love it. So go check out Who Invited Her. We'll let, God, let you guys know for sure when it's coming out. Hi, I'm Kelsey. And I'm Ashley. And we're with Girl Music. And we're here to talk about Braid Network. Yay! We are partnered with Braid Network to show you an amazing app that is currently in beta, but we got a first look. We are currently partnered with Braid Network, an app and online-based platform that really focuses on building community and getting all your social media content in one place, which I know is super helpful because we've got a lot going on. Instagram, TikTok, all of your socials can be connected. You can chat with your community about each of these things on there. We have been working with them for over three months now and our community continues to grow. It's really easy to use. All you have to do is put in your email and then you are logged into the app where you can talk to us, ask us any music related questions. We really want to start building community on this app. Go to this website, add in your email, your phone number so you can get notifications directly to your phone whenever someone comments and we'll be there for you to talk all things music. Hurry up and join now. Other than that, we've been doing some other really cool things. We just judged Battle of the Bands for Shebang Fest, which we're super excited to say that we will be attending. Like unfortunately, a week after this? Yeah, unfortunately, Ash can't go, but you'll find Rachel and I there. So if you're looking for us, um, blue hair, very pink hair, like the color of this pink. Uh, and we're just loud as hell. And yeah. we're probably cackling. Just having yeah. a good old cackling. time. We're probably cackling quite loud. Uh, we're super excited. So if you see us and you're going, say hi. We would love to hang out. We're going to be um, hopefully doing some really dope artist interviews again. Y'all love the South by Southwest ones, so we're really excited to do this round two at Shebang. Yes. Super excited. Uh, and then also we have uh, At Home With. I really want to dive into At Home With um, just for a second. If you don't know what it is, it is our summer series that kind of replaces our podcast for when we're on a break. Uh, we essentially dedicate one week to one artist. So they do a live performance of one of their songs and a live performance of, of a cover of their favorite cover song. Yeah. That's so funny. And it's really cool because it just gives us a moment to really 
slow down the mm-hmm. music. Uh, yeah, and just really go into lean one. In. Yeah, lean into an artist yeah. we're really loving right yeah. now. Yeah, we would have posted probably already about the series and. Please apply. Please. We and love it. It's, this is our third year. Yeah, it's our third year. Yeah. I have more exciting ideas, a lot more of like getting to know artists, getting a little bit deeper, a little bit more personal. And it, like I said, it's a whole week celebrating you as an artist. So if you are an artist and you're interested in this series, please email us at bopsandbangers at, at girlmusic.com. It gets a little wordy, but you got it. You got the gist. Um, so it's going to be really fun. It's going all throughout summer and we're super excited to, um, let you guys know the lineup. Yeah. Just highlight incredible babies. Becoming artists. Little babies. Yeah. We love our little babies. So I think, what else do we have to offer? We're, we're doing so many things right now. We're doing a lot of things. Just keep your eyeballs peeping and. Keep them eyeballs peeping. And stay. Tuned. Yeah. 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 yeah, and and uh, DM us anything you like on music related, you know, Please. like anything you want us to talk about. I think we really would love to start getting people letting us know what albums they love so we can talk about them because that would be really fun. Agreed. I actually had a really fun idea. I was going to just, I might as well, well, let's bring it up. Let's have a little <laughs> Monday morning meeting. I was thinking how fun it would be to do like um, every month we do a community themed playlist. So it's whatever the theme the community wants and then they can add music into it. They can recommend yeah. us songs. And that way it gets us talking. It could be genreless. It yeah. doesn't have to be anything specific. It I just has that. to fit yeah, the theme. theme. And That's and basically what we did for Ugly Crying in the Car. It's true. And it's yeah. so cool to like bring together the homies. Mm-hmm. Let's let's listen to some music together. Yeah. yeah. And I'm let's crazy. find out what you all are listening to. And hopefully it fits a really cool theme. So be on the lookout for that. We're for sure going to do it. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it. We're Amen. When this podcast comes out, we will have returned from Hawaii. Um, Tanned and glorious. Exhausted. Drunk. Still. <laughs> So, you know, it's just nonstop. It's We're just, fine. We just keep on going. The 30-year-olds keep on going. I'm Ooh. barely alive. No, it's you fine. can't tell. It's fine. It's fine. I'm holding us up together. Yeah. Frank. See? Can't even. It's fine. It's fine. She's lost the plot. Super, super excited. Uh, before we dive into music, let's talk about our beautiful podcast feature song of today. And this one I'm super excited about, as always. It's called Champagne Tears by Fairy. Uh, this song tells a story of two ex lovers tangled up in toxicity and drama, missing oh, yes. the familiarity that defined their past relationship and its addictive cyclical nature. Ugh, it really, is, it really hits up, deep. It really. Apropos for poor little Rach over yeah. here. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> uh, the passion and drama is wrapped up in an almost hidden, like, leisurely folk-inspired song. It is very light. It is very pretty. Um, she is, uh, fairy is Christine Joyce Lamb. She writes music that invites li- the listener to escape the world and join the celestial one that she's building. It's very Pisces. It's giving very Pisces, mm. dreamy vibes. Mm. Very dreamy folk. Yeah, Champagne Tears. Champagne Tears. The title says it all. Exactly. Uh, she started Fairy, this project, in 2021 um, when she released her debut EP called 2AM, which has over 18,000 streams to date. We love Hell that yes. for her. Um, and she's collaborated with over 30 creatives worldwide during her career thus far. And she's just on a on rise fire. on a on a this on a trajectory on fire. you're welcome fairy for that beautiful <laughs> rendition um that we just did for you <laughs> but truly uh an artist to watch we're so excited to highlight her this is champagne tears by fairy and we'll be right back to talk about some new music
We're back. Yeehaw! Hope you accept. Hope you hope you enjoyed Champagne Kisses by Fairy. Uh, nope, Champagne Tears. <laughs> oh, I was, was like, like, wait, wait, hold like, up. What are you talking hold about? Up. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed Champagne Tears by Fairy. It's super beautiful single. We love it. My brain hurts. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We're getting into some new music for y'all. Let's dive into it. Who's going first? I'll go first. Do it. Okay, so my first album is one we all know about. It's a pretty big, big... Big, big? Release. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. And I just... I would be remiss if I didn't talk about it okay. because it really cut cut deep. Cut cut you deep in yeah. the core, Baxter? And this is um, Boy Genius, their record... The record. <laughs> that just sounds... I just hear Ari saying it. <laughs> yeah. Namaste. Namaste. Yeah. Namaste. Yeah. Um, their album, The Record, you guys. Yeah. It is so fucking good. Like, I knew that I was going to like it, but always this, like, indie rock kind of sad girl like Kelsey loves is always, like, a kind of a three-year for me. Yeah. But holy shit. Well... Their three voices together <laughs> create something that is insane. It, well, I mean, their songwriting alone together is yeah, out of this world. That's, yes. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Julian Baker, Phoebe Bridgers, Lu- Lucy, Lucy Davis. Yeah. Dacus? Dacus. Yeah. Do you Dacus? even know it's with a V? It's not Dacus? It's not with a V. Oh, it's not? It's D A U C or D A C U S. Lucy Dacus. Oh, I Weird, always hear huh? people say Dacus. Is it Dacus? Dacus. It's definitely not Davis. Yeah, not Davis. Yeah, no, it's Doc. Yeah, how Dacus? do you say that? I'm pretty. I've always heard it, Lucy Dacus. Okay. Oh, but I, I've heard Dacus. I always hear Dacus. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, let anyways, us know. Anyways, good old Lucy. Loose, good yeah, old Lucy. Let us know that we're just completely butchering her last name. But the three of them put together this album that, like, the lyrics hit deep. Their vocals, like, it starts out with like a very acoustic entrance. Yes. To it, and yes. then just kind of goes in, and each song, like builds on itself yeah so like by mid album you're just like mm-hmm. crying in the car <laughs> and that's what they do best i mean truly it's that what, is the what the three of them have thrived off of being is that very emotional sad girl indie rock yeah they, they made the genre the hype is there you yeah know? and i feel like that's such a hard genre to kind of yeah i mean they're three big huge artists yeah. but to like be like this is a great album is, yeah i thought that was going to be a little difficult and i didn't want to ride that wave but it genuinely is just such an experience like yeah such a such a production experience too like mm. i love it I'm, I'm excited to listen to it i obviously being a stan of all of those mm-hmm. three women like julian baker's got the mm-hmm. fucking religious trauma yep. lucy's just gonna destroy me with words yep. and phoebe's just gonna 
just kill ruin you. my life yeah. because she just gets it. Yes. <laughs> that Although I am character. on Phoebe Bridger's TikTok. Oh. Uh, the drama TikTok. Oh, same. Oh, what's same. that? Well, she catches some heat like left and right. Phoebe's gotten a little um, mm-hmm. sass in her. Uh, she's cheated on a few of her boyfriends oh. with band people. Oh. Like supposedly her and Connor Oberst got together when they were doing better oblivion communities at her. And because she left her drummer for Connor Oberst, and then she didn't, her and Connor Oberst is a fucking tragic mess that needs severe oh. help. Poor guy. Um, <laughs> Why do you say that? Oh, he he's a drug addict and, a, and an oh. alcoholic, and he was, I think, sober for a long time and is now <laughs> not sober. Mm. And his shows are apparently just messy oh, no. like he just walks off and leaves oh yeah so and they're still together no 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 but then she started dating paul mescal from um normal people that mm-hmm. actor yeah, i have heard that apparently she cheated on him it's a lot of allegedly allegedly it's just a lot of allegedly and i am on that side of drama of tiktok and i fucking love it i have not seen any of this it's almost like an indie girls taylor swift Oh. She people is, love to hate her, though. People love to hate Phoebe. People, well, people love people, to hate Taylor. Yeah. It, yeah, because she's so big in the space. Yeah. Yes. That there's, like, I almost sense, She pushes like, boundaries, too. For yeah. Real. Phoebe? Yeah. 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 It's kind of like when someone is, like, really great in a space, people yep. just love to hate. Exactly. Because they're, it's like, yeah, jealousy. Or to be, and, yeah, well, yeah. to be contrarian, too. Yeah, which is also. Yeah. People she's love moody, and, too, you know? Yeah. She got that. But she really is, like, the... She is what to this generation's version of Taylor Swift is for, you know, mm-hmm. like, millennials. Yeah. She is, which is weird since she's our age. And she's from L.A. Phoebe? Yeah. Yeah. She, I mean, yeah. She grew up baby? in the music industry for sure. I'm pretty sure. Phoebe? She Nepo, Didn't baby? she go to, like, school for music? Too? No, no. That is uh, Maggie Rogers. Oh. oh. I'd be getting them hella confused. Yeah. So yeah. Maggie Rogers is the one that went to NYU. Okay. Yeah. Okay. found her yes. and was like, holy fuck. Like, yes. you're going to okay. explode. That's Maggie Rogers. Phoebe, I don't think very much was um, involved as a younger, as a young tyke. Oh, interesting. Um, but again, to your point though, she is this world's like indie sad girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And much like Lana Del Rey tried to be, you know, it's like she really That's a good point. capitalized on the sad girl yep. vibes. Yep. And she came out with a time with Julian Baker. And like mm-hmm. they, they literally have their own genre. Yeah. Now. Yes. It is and, theirs. And there's so many up and coming artists that, sound that are sound just, just like, like them. them exactly and write just like them yes now. because yes. they really allowed that diaryistic like heart wrenching kind of world come to life yeah and I love I love all three of them yeah but there's definitely a cult starting to happen around Phoebe Bridgers that's a little unnerving to me oh yes it very much is yeah I can't I'm a, not I'm gonna say I can't stand her fans like the yeah fans yeah that, like ride her like I just can't it's a, a little aggressive to the point where like it, it's it's the cult of Taylor Swift mm-hmm. it's yeah. just the cult of Phoebe Bridgers now god people need to calm the fuck yeah out. yeah people are crazy people are crazy her. so boy genius seeing them live is gonna be <sighs> oh my god I have that insane. on my notes I didn't even get through my notes okay so sorry I got off on a um, tangent I just have a few other things but we we got it we talked about them enough well I just I think um, it's gonna be interesting to see them live and you know performing the th- I've seen boy genius perform um when they came out the, obviously the first one and and it was really cool because they each did a little mini solo set mm-hmm. too. How long then, ago was that? Oh, that that came out in 2018. Yeah, that's been a it's, it's been a been minute. A minute. Um, and then they dropped three demos in 2020. Yep, that were available for 24 hours. Yeah, and they took them down. Well, we did. I don't think anyone thought we were going to get another Boy Genius album. Nobody did. Apparently, the pandemic so... sparked it. Oh. Yeah, that's why they like that released a little sense. teaser, then they got oh. rid of it, and then they kind of dove into an album. They're like, we should do another one. Yeah, they knew there was a demand. They're hilarious. They the three are. of them together. Yeah, they're just such different personalities, which it's is so, so surprising good. that they like. Have you? Did you watch them on Pitchfork's Overrated Underrated? Mm-mm. I was dying of laughter because they were like, Lucy is is space overrated underrated? She's like, overrated. I don't know. What, I don't want to know what's going on out there. <laughs> I was like, Lucy. <laughs> Not same. So Not good. Same. Not um, same. 
yeah, I'm excited to see them perform in August. My favorites on the album are, um, I liked almost all of them, but True yeah. Blue, Not Strong Enough, and Anti-Curse. True Blue is really a bestie song. <gasps> It's a sad bestie song, oh. but it's a beautiful sad bestie song. Mm-hmm. I love all those words that just came yeah. out of your mouth. Mm-hmm. Am I gonna cry? Probably. Yeah. Cool. Can't yeah. wait. <laughs> it's really yeah. It's the it's truly it's. I think it's meant for besties. It's mm-hmm. not for like a lover. Good. Yeah. Even better. It's just so great. Yeah. Yes. It's we need so more. So well written. We need more of those. Like I'm kind of over the love song I aspect. Know. You know, I'm a like a little more bestie song. A little bit people more. People talk about how uh, friendship breakups are like the worst kind of heartbreak. They are the fucking worst. It's that has been trending else. though because there are been. tons of those yes. right now. It is. The a best big friend wave. breakup is like yeah. a thing. It's, it's a thing because I think. All the Gen Zers are now starting to experience it. Yeah, and that so, diary is coming yeah, out. That diary yes. be popping. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, point. that's Boy Genius. Hell yeah, get it, Boy Genius. Um, I'm super excited to talk about an actual OG girl mm-hmm. who actually did our At Home With series. series oh my god, one. yeah. One. Holy shit, like literally one of the first people that did our that At Home 2020? series. Was that in 2020? 2021. Yeah. Wild. Crazy. Uh, this is Maddie Hicks with her new album, Situationships. And I love Maddie. She has grown so, 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 so much since that At Home series with. This album really represents a more mature, older side. Mature for sure. Her, yeah, of Maddie that like really is a beautiful thing to watch. From her earlier music to now, she's just... Her sa- she sounds more confident in her sound. Her voice is stronger. She's just stronger as a person. And so I think it's really beautiful to see it in that kind of light. Um, this album is a really good, just like indie pop singer songwriter kind of album. She writes a lot about personal daily life kind it's, of ideas. This is a true diary album. True diary album. Yeah. Like the ma'am just opened her yes. book and was like, mm, this works. Yeah, like one... That is the most diary yeah. I feel. But it's amazing. Yes, yes. Like, I just love that vibe. Same. Of it being kind of like, it feels light. Yes. But if you listen to it all the way through, it's very deep. It's very deep. Yeah. Yes. I mean, Strong Woman is is one I want to highlight. Um, it's one of the most beautiful songs I heard in March. It's just very vulnerable. Yeah. Which is so hard to be in music. And she really uses her, like, quiet, folky kind of voice to really feel powerful Mm. and feel in her power in that song and it's just a really lovely album i'm so 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 proud of her we're so excited that this is making her this is almost like her it's not her debut but it feels like her debut like she's being reintroduced to society and strong woman such a good start to the album too so it is like yeah this is who i am Yeah. yeah yeah so i really uh really enjoyed listening to the full thing go check it out my favorite songs are strong woman kind of over it and i don't need to kind of over it's a bop that's what i'm saying when she says fucked in the ass it really is like ooh, okay (laughs) i know i was like maddie (laughs) i was not ready for some sass that is like so sass yes especially because the way it's said too is just like so bluntly said and we're used to you know a nice little baby angel maddie and then she just comes out and says that we're like this maddie be grown She'd be grown. She'd be grown. <laughs> Maddie Hicks, so fucking proud of you, girl. Cheers to you. We love you. Congrats on the album. Go listen to it if you can. So my next album yes. is kind of surprised because I didn't know that he released an album oh. until yesterday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know how I found it, but I, I think it came up with albums you'd like to know. Oh. And I was like, You're like oh, Spotify I- now. I- How'd I've been really, know? I've been doing my research. I've been having had the time. <laughs> um, this is Elder Brooks' album "Little Love," and if you've been listening to the podcast, you know I love Elder Brooks. Yes, his last album came out in I think 2020. It's been like three years since his last album. Weird. And it was on my top list. I think of that. Year. It was. I very much remember everything it, about it. <laughs> it it's progressive house um if you like lane eight yeah you'll love him yeah. and this is even more progressive his last one had like more deep house mm-hmm. vibes this is very much progressive house the whole way through with a little folkiness to it right like i feel like he can get a little 
folky sometimes. Mm, I didn't really get that. Maybe that's just his voice. Like, I don't yeah. know, but maybe that's just how I hear it as. Yeah, he so he collaborates. Like, a collaborator on this album is I'll Be Ready. Oh, well, she's my Scot- my Scot- my Irish yes, you love. queen. Um, So his name is Alexander Cotts, and he's from Cots. London. Fun facts. We love a London boy. <laughs> um, He's... He's a bigger DJ in the progressive house scene, and he just keeps getting better and better. This album collaborates. He also has the I'll Be Ready, Tourist, Amtrak, Vintage <gasps> Culture. Wait, Amtrak's on it? Yeah, and you'll love that song. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Gabe so that's kind I of the love vibe. love Amtrak. Yes. Mm. The vibe is, it's vibing. Um, <laughs> the vibe be vibing. <laughs> it's perfect paired with like late night drive, studying, going for like a hot girl walk. I added like half of the songs to my favorites. Damn. Um, but my favorite ones are If You Want Somebody, I'll Be Around. I'll Be Around has the Amtrak. Thank you. Did you listen to this album yet? I don't think so. Okay. I think it's somewhere deep in there. Um, <laughs> in my billions of albums I need to listen to. It's really good. You'll like it against another Sit on the Patio and we In the it. Sun. Ashley Bye. knows me so well. <laughs> she knows me so well this way. But I really like what he's done. I, I like the progressive house. It really is just like kind of a comforting, nice it is. sound. It is. And it's just like great for, I don't want to say background noise, but like. No, I know it, what you're saying. It feels, it fills the void of like silence with mm. like a nice. Cinematic almost. Yes. Like you're, you're. It's, a, it's really nice for a Pisces brain. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Honestly. And I really like that Um, he's slowly but surely really risen yeah like it's taken a long it's i feel like it's been a slow yeah because you listen to elderbrook for years it feels like he had big releases with like camel fat i think and um rudimental and that's those, what it was those yeah. songs like blew up yeah so he kind of got bigger in the space but he really he's really like taking his music and making his own space in yeah the genre of house that is progressive and it's amazing i love that well he has the dopest uh collaborations i know mm-hmm. i mean i'll be ready and amtrak those are two very opposite opposite sounding yeah genres you know yes. yeah it's good fuck yeah get it elderbrook all right i gotta listen to my album now listen to it i am doing an ep that rachel is going to be v excited that i'm talking about and uh, we kind of casually mentioned it real quick in our Slack chat, but we didn't dive deep into it. Uh, this is Q with his EP, Not Alone. Uh, Rachel's having a panic attack. I was just talking about it. I <laughs> am so, so, so excited. He is coming out with an album May 5th mm-hmm. called Soul Present. Yes. Um, he is uh, the bringer of funk. Uh, if you are looking for that new funk soul vibe, oh my God, Q is the person for you. He is sexy. Mm-hmm. He is a little insecure sometimes, <laughs> as we all are. And I really enjoyed the um, talking about loneliness mm-hmm. in a very personal way. Like, not necessarily like needing someone else, but a, but your own kind of loneliness. Mm-hmm. Like, you're feeling lonely about yourself. Yeah. I think that's such a beautiful concept, but then pairing it with this very nasty bass face, mm-hmm. funk. I haven't listened. The 80s. You're go- 80s the synth. 80s infl- yeah, the 80s synth oh, goes so like crazy. Oh, you're going to love gonna this, Ash. You're going to love this, Ash. This is, might be your favorite EP of all time. Oh, wow. It is just banger after banger after banger. Bop after bop after mm-hmm, bop. Mm-hmm. And Q it has that Michael Jackson-esque yes. attitude yes. almost, you know, of like just, mm-hmm. he's Q. Yeah. He's just cute. Yeah. Like his bio in his um, Spotify is nothing yeah. because he doesn't need no bio. People write articles on him being like the artist that nobody can find. Like yeah. they hear the songs, but like when you go up and look up Q, everyone was like, what the hell? Like, what do you look up? You, you know? You don't. Yeah. yeah. I was looking up Q, not alone. That's the name of yeah. the EP. And really, yes, there's some things written about him, but I like the mysteriousness mm-hmm. of what he's about to release. I really think this album's going to explode load on the scene um i'm really really obsessed with the bass guitars papa this is for you um but that funk sound that you love and you know that we were raised on it's just 
a, an evolution and a step up. Ooh. Mm-hmm. You're oh, I'm the, gonna play for you after this show. We have after to play it after this. this. The cross genres too, just the way he oh, links yeah. so many things. It's just it's almost like he it's went natural. into it and been like. I don't give a single fuck yeah. what anything is. Like, I'm just going to create this entire thing and it goes seamlessly, beautifully together. It just makes you feel so excited exactly. and happy for music. Yeah. Like, you're just, well, like, excited. You, speaking of that, mm-hmm. you know, we have these artists like Lil Yachty yeah. doing the same thing of right. just going to the studio being like, whatever I create, right. I exactly. create. Yeah. And I think having that perspective of, like, who knows what's going to come mm-hmm. out of me and not being so conformed to a genre mm-hmm. is... Yeah. I love revolutionary. what's happening. Yeah. Revolutionary, truly. Because mm-hmm. who knows? I mean, this album... You can't put someone in a box anymore, which you, makes it hard to review music. But it does. Also, but also in the best... It's really it. exciting. I in love the it. best ways possible. Exactly, exactly. So go check out Q. Again, his album comes out in May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to be celebrating for fucking sure. That will be a shebang. And I will be blasting <laughs> yeah. this from my phone yep, during absolutely. shebang. <laughs> Uh, no, honestly, go check him out. Uh, he's he's pretty big in the scene right now, but I really think uh, well deserved. So mm-hmm. I, I don't wanted... think people are talking about him. I think people are listening to him. Maybe but like that's nobody's why. getting a huge. There's not a ton. Nobody's talking about him yet. Yeah, it's not like mm-hmm. it's like a. It's, he's not like a TikTok viral star yeah. or anything like that. But like you have to find is, his music. Yeah. You got a deep dive. Yeah, and I think that's the coolest part about mm-hmm. him. That's fun. Yeah, my last song is fucking stunning <laughs> i just showed kelson rach before the podcast started yes and just like boy genius yes a folk year yes but this is michaela pasterfield with her single not an album or an ep but i just had to talk about this okay. it's bindi in the dirt and it's i'm obsessed i just found her and i'm so excited to see what's next she's only had two singles released she's from sydney australia i wasn't even on the playlist and what? i found found an australian yeah. no oh my gosh <laughs> um but yeah it's just beautiful folk indie acoustic this song along with her other single i'm obsessed with both of them um i'm just I don't really have much to say because she's an up and comer in the scene. Only two songs. There's not really a lot written about her, but one to watch. Um, Michaela Pasterfield, folk, indie, rock, acoustic vibes. And you found this on TikTok, right? You said no. I oh. found it in Fresh Folk playlist. Oh, yeah, so that's random. crazy. Yeah. Okay. And okay. as soon as you hear it, you're gonna be obsessed. She, I, it's actually in our Sunday Wind Down playlist this week, but this won't come out. My final album is one that I wasn't kind of planning on mentioning, but I think I decided I was in that vibe I needed. And so I think the world needs to know. <laughs> Lily, <laughs> Lily Williams came out with an album called How the Story Ends. It's her debut album. And actually, Rach, this is perfect for you mm-hmm. as we were just talking about France. It has that very French pop ingenue walking through the Parisian streets, being the main character of your own story. I love that. Just simple. Just very simple, chantreuse kind of uh, vibe, a very light, lilting, easy peas kind of music. It is so refreshing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, light and airy. Very refreshing to listen mm-hmm. to and honestly um was a surprise I, was it like a new sound kind of or was it like that familiar like light and airy kind of um i would say it's very classical nice. light airy sound yeah, nice. but it's like a lazy afternoon vibe yes i love it yes just very french and very poppy. pretty yeah very pretty mm-hmm. very feminine very nice. much like mr darcy kind uh, of. just like that. easy to listen yeah. to there's nothing you know harsh sounding mm-hmm. there's it's just very feminine Love and it. it's it's just so nice to listen to sometimes mm-hmm. when you need a break from all of the funk all of mm-hmm. the soul all of the hyper pop and you mm-hmm. just want a little bit a of, a, of yeah. a palate cleanser yeah. yeah of something that's nice and Ease easy brain. and light to listen to lily williams y'all i'm telling you this is just a beautiful little ditty of an album quick She's got a great voice. It's a debut, which mm. we love. And she's actually quite popular on the Spotify. So oh, nice. it's kind of nice. I think she's 
got a very intense niche that is, you know, not utilized. Everyone loves that lazy afternoon coffee shop vibe. But we don't hear it a lot anymore because everyone's trying to push the yeah. boundaries, yeah. right? And yes. I and I was so appreciative Lyrically to hear. Lyrically too, yeah. Yeah, I was just so appreciative to hear like an easygoing light pop. Yeah. yeah. We still love easygoing music, we y'all. We do. Nothing, God, I need to be rocket it. science. No, exactly. Um, definitely some of my favorite songs on the album are Rich, uh, when all the love is gone, hindsight is a wonderful thing. Go check her out. Very sweet. Again, if you do want to follow along with us, we have a Bops and Bangers playlist where we actually put in songs from everyone we mentioned today on today's podcast and from previous episodes as well. So you can always go check that out and quickly listen to them, or you can be on our Instagram. We post about it all the damn time. Um... Just again, a nice, a nice little uh, easy piece. Love it. Music discovery. Yeah. If you're looking for a quick tidbit music discovery, go check out that playlist. Yeah, it's fun to follow along too because we talk about it and then you can pause us and then listen and, and then, then pause, you can pause and then and listen. listen and then and then keep doing that <laughs> until your mind explodes. Yeah, it's perfect. That's great. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's it for us today. Thank you so much for catching up with us. We love y'all. We are, you know, working our way. We will be ending in June for the season. But again, don't worry. We have At Home With to satisfy all your music discovery needs. Uh, And as always, check out our playlist. Check out our website. Check out our merch. Be as supportive as you can be in whatever capacity that means for you. We just appreciate it so, 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 so much. (laughs) We cry on a daily basis from all the nice things people are talking to us about. Y'all are the best. I'm in deep therapy trying to accept such compliments. Thank you all so much. Uh, We'll see you next week. Love you all. Have a great enjoy enjoyment of of a week. Hopefully it's sunny wherever you are. Yes. Get some vitamin D. Get some vitamin D. All right. Love y'all. Bye. Bye.